In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of when you have a remote desktop server. This is either Windows 2012, 2012 R2, or 2016. And after you get close to the 120 day mark, you get an error message saying that it can't find the licensing servers or you're almost out of time, that kind of thing. So the problem has to do with the uh, built in free 120 day license that you get. And even though I've installed these other licenses, uh, two different licenses for 75, it doesn't seem to matter because it's going to use this original 120 day expiration anyway. So I'll show you how to fix this permanently. So what we want to do is uh, we're going to open up GP edit. Now, now if you're on a domain controller, you're going to want to go to group policy management and do the same thing. Otherwise, we're just going to go and open up GP edit. So we'll just type GP edit from a command prompt or start menu, whatever it is you want. And now we're going to go to the computer configuration, administrative templates, then Windows components, then remote desktop services. So just type an R, it'll get you down there. We'll expand remote desktop services. And we're going to go to remote desktop session host. From here, we're going to go to the right side of the screen and we're going to choose licensing. Double click on that. And once we're in licensing, we want to choose the option where it says use the specified RD license servers. Double click. And from here, we're going to type enabled and we're going to type the name of the server that has the licenses. Now, in this one, we know it's multi point one, but you're going to put in whatever the name of your server is. And we can, we probably want to go ahead and put in the full, fully qualified domain name, not just the uh, NetBIOS name. So if it's, you know, contoso.local or whatever it is, just go ahead and add that to it as well. I will go ahead and click OK or apply and OK either way. And we see now that that is enabled. All right. So the next thing we want to do is set the remote desktop licensing mode. So we double click on that and we click enabled and we are going to choose user. And again, apply and OK, and we see that that is now enabled as well. At this point, all you need to do is log off, log back in, and the error should be gone. So you should not have that happen to you, whether you're logged into the server with the licensing manager and licenses on it or any one of the clients as well. It wouldn't hurt if you went to a command prompt and also did a GP update slash force. Uh, also, if it doesn't happen right away, just go ahead and restart the server itself. Since this is a computer policy rather than a user policy, sometimes it requires you to restart the computer entirely, but that doesn't always have to happen. So that's how you fix the time bomb issue where you run out of license time in a Windows server remote desktop.